Hello everybody, my name is Greg Danzig, I'm the Lieutenant in Charge of the Forensic Sciences Division. I'm here with Specialist Craig Giovo and Assistant Supervisor Rhonda Klein. Today we're going to be talking to you a little bit about the VMD uh, 360 today. It's an evidence processing system that's unique of its kind and is uh, a game changer in development of evidence for cold cases. I'm going to turn it over to Craig and give you a little bit of a tutorial with it with uh, Supervisor Klein Assistant. Greg? So the VMD, the Vacuum Metal Deposition Chamber, is a process that we use for processing latent prints on uh, different surfaces. It could be a hard surface, it could be a material type like shoes, it could be a metal surface like a gun, plastic surface like a money tray. Um, today we're going to use two cards here, two white cards that we have deposited fingerprints onto these cards. The VMD itself we're going to use precious metals. It could be gold, zinc, aluminum, uh, copper. And what those metals are going to do is they are going to be heated and then vaporized. Once they vaporize, they're going to attach themselves to the fingerprint residue that's left behind. So at this point, I'm going to put it inside the VMD. The item has to be suspended inside the unit because once the metal's vaporized, they're only going to touch what's facing them. Now today we're using gold. And I don't know if you can see the little pieces of gold. I'm going to use one piece of gold in there that's going to vaporize. The gold is going to go into a little boat. The other boat inside is the zinc. The gold is going to burn off first, laying onto the fingerprint residue, and then the rest of the card is going to be coated with the zinc, which gives it contrast. And close the door. Depending on what type of item that I'm processing, depends on the time difference. So if I'm using something that's like a material that has moisture in it, that could take hours to vacuum down. Start the process, I'm pumping the unit down, which is taking all the contaminants and all the air out of the chamber. This allows the precious metal once vaporized to strike that surface without anything being in its way. The left boat is gonna burn off first, so that's your goal. Metal one. Okay. The gold is burnt off, and we got a metal two. This is going to be your zinc. And now we're going to watch. We're going to watch the card. And the boat is heated, so we're going to get the vaporization of the zinc, which is going to turn the card gray. And once it starts, it's a real quick reaction. So I have to gauge it by the knob here. As you can see, the development is taking place at this point. Okay, I'm going to turn the zinc off. At this point, we can turn the lights on. Watch your eyes because I'm going to burn off any excess, excess gold that's in there. It's real bright. Turn that off. I'm going to vent the system down, which is going to allow us to take the evidence out of the chamber.
And at this point, it's allowing the outside air back into the chamber so the door can be open. At this point, you can see the development of the fingerprints on that surface on the substrate. And what we would do at that point, there's different processes that we could do after this. Um, you'd want to photograph the fingerprints. So those photographs could be turned into APHIS for examination. Or it might be an item that could be like a material and we would use an alternate light source to develop or see possible fingerprints that developed on the surface.